matched. Each man throwing. Oh, super kill! Animality. Oh, another oh, one. And he's still on his feet after two animalities. Oh, to the oh, back. Animality to the back. What is it going to take to take down the weapon, Damon Ace? Damon to one knee. It's, I cannot believe he, what I'm seeing. Damon, Damon's having trouble getting up. Damon's having trouble getting up. His back is gone. This crowd fully behind. Balaam links. Pops just gave him the thumbs up. Pops oh, just gave Balaam oh. the thumbs up. Animality to the back of the head. And and choking. He's Wait got, a minute. He's got a hook. Hooks He's hooking him. He's hooked. He's hooked. He's got the hooks Into the sleeper hold. Going for that rear naked choke. Damon Ace That's hanging be on. It. He got the hooks in. He's got him. He's got him. And look at the body goes limp. The body of Damon Ace. That's, That's it. it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That'll do it. Let's the go, Balaam. Balaam leaves. This cannot be easy for the father of Damon Ace to be at ringside to watch his own son. You can almost see he's batting his eye, he's batting his, his, his closing and opening his eyes. There's a tear in his eye right now. You can see that. As much as your own blood may be causing you problems, you can't, that, that love will never go away. Mr. Hey, Ace helping fail him to his feet. matchup coming up that we're going to be talking about the one before intermission the one before halftime the one that everybody was talking about prior to milestone 12 Damon A's versus Balaam Lynx eyes what do you got for this one Johnny my emotions are at an all-time high and they're not going down at any point right now all right because we go from one emotional ending to an to the eclipse of an emotional roller coaster between Balaam and Damon. I'm not going to rehash the story. You guys all know what's going on with that. So let's get back to the match. This is not your wrestling match. This is no typical wrestling match. They just go right at it to begin the match. They go. They both want blood. They both want each other's souls. Uh, I think Balaam got a little overzealous in the beginning uh, w with his emotions because he went to the top rope a few times and and Damon uh, cut him off right there. And um, Balaam you know, fights him off, goes to, top, goes to the top again, goes to that driving cross body that he's so good at, but Damon catches him um, and just has nothing of it right there. Uh, eventually, you know, he avoids an animality attempt from Balaam and hits a huge swing and, neck, uh, swing and neck breaker for a close two. At this point, this is where the tide of the match starts to turn for Damon, because he's in full control now. Um, they go to the out. They go to the outside of the ring as if this match is going to stay in the ring. Really, <laughs> so it goes to the it goes to the outside of the ring. Yeah, with these two, it's the outside of the ring. And we talked about these 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 barrels. Yeah, smashes Balaam's head into the freaking barrels. And then, and then the, you guys didn't you guys didn't see this, but I felt this. Dalem, Dalem, yeah, Dalem, Damon. Grabbed I know the it's big, a long night, eyes. I I feel you, but. But Damon, that's a good tag name. No, it's not. Damon grabs oh, Balaam's. No. It's not. Yeah, that was horrible. Bad idea, Ice. But he grabs <laughs> Balaam's face mask. That's sacred to him. All right? He grabbed his face mask and he stomped on it. A and ready for this? When he stomped on it, a piece of that actually broke off and came flying my way. And I was in the crowd for that. It came flying my way. And I, but the fanboy in me is like, oh, I got a souvenir. I got a souvenir. I want to take it, it home. Do you I, have it? I, I couldn't. Why know why? Because then, then the realistic me uh, uh, jumped into you know jumped into play right away. Like if I take a sharp object on the on the plane, I am going to get detained or or never come back to Massachusetts at all. So sure, I couldn't. Okay. I couldn't. Um, I had. Yeah, I had a. Yeah. 
Oh, you could have taken it. You should have done that. Yeah. So I had to I had to leave it on the floor, unfortunately, because I cannot take a sharp object on the on the plane. I mean, but that's neither here nor there. So he grabbed his mask. Okay, that's a really cool moment to me. But gra grabbed his mask, stomps on it. Um, bad idea, bro. Because right there, Balaam starts to, starts to fight back and hits two suicide dives. Um, but then after that, he gets caught in the ring apron, um, going for the going for the baseball slide, and Demon goes to town on him. At this point, blood and blood gushes out. It starts to come out from Balaam, and it's all hell from here. Um, but, you know, Dam Dam Damon attacks that wound, uh, the open wound from there. Um, Balaam starts to fight back, but Damon's having nothing of it. Uh, and at this point, it's all Damon. It's all Damon, and just having his way with Balaam. At uh, one point, uh, Damon goes for the Persona Non Grata. Uh, Balaam slips out and, and just targets Damon's back, which is actually pretty smart. You, we all know this. Sunday and I know this. You don't have your back. It goes out. You got nothing. You are screwed. So right away, Balaam, his, <clears throat> his survival instincts kick in, goes for Damon's back um, with, with all of his offense. Um, Damon goes for the Persona Non Grata again, um, but Balaam is able to counter that into a rear naked chokehold. Um, and almost puts him to sleep, but Damon's too powerful and strong. He's got too much left on the tank, and he fights out of that right away. Uh, not right away, but eventually fights out of it. Finally, he goes to the well, and it pays off. Hits the Persona Non Grata, but at that point, Damon's back had taken so much abuse and punishment that he couldn't capitalize on it right away, um, and he couldn't put a proper cover on it, and be able to kicked out of it. At this point, we're near the end of the match here. And Damon sets him up for the kill shot. Uh, yeah, oh, God, I can't imagine that. I've seen that in real life. That doesn't, that's not pretty. Anyways, I digress. He sets him up for the kill shot. And then, guys, we're talking about emotions here. Emotional roller coaster, Johnny. I just mentioned that. Damon's father comes out out of nowhere. His, his own living blood comes out and, and distracts Damon. I mean, rightfully so. I mean, you spine busted him a week before that. This distraction allows Balaam to hit a top rope crossbody for a near fall. All right. At this point, both men are just on pure adrenaline right now, just giving it everything they got. Finally, Balaam hits the three animalities, um, and with that third one being to the back of Damon Ace, uh, hits one more uh, to the back of his head, for, uh, and and then locks in that rear naked chokehold, and Damon just goes to sleep, and that's your match, guys. This was the best, and you guys, I, I know we're all going to agree here. That was, that was a lot, and that was exhausting, but it was a good type of exhaustion. That was the <laughs> best match on the card uh, of Milestone 12, and my, my humble opinion, the best match. Let, let, let's take a quick, a quick step back here. You had drama, you had emotion, you had family members in there. You had a long tenured history, a long rivaled history, dating back to when they were teenagers. You had everything on the line here. And there was no shenanigans, really. There was no weapons involved. There was no outside interference. There was no managers, no nothing. All right? These two brought the fight to each other. They brought the hatred to each other. They wanted to end each other's careers and end each other's soul and their well-being. And they did. They essentially did, in my opinion. Those two have something taken out of them that they'll never get back for the rest of the wrestling career. Uh, I gave it... If I could, I'd give it ten lighthouses. Uh, I gave it five lighthouses. Oh, of course, so it's my synopsis. I'll give it ten lighthouses if I want to, all right? But I will give it five for the show. Five lighthouses, phenomenal match. Anyone that wants to end the wrestling business and you want to be a success... You want good storytelling, you want to have a good story buildup, raw emotion and passion, and just get the feel from, it from, from a wrestling point of view and a fan's point of view, watch this match. Watch this match, and don't watch it once. Watch it over and over and over again. It was awesome. Five, I, I'm crying inside of tears of joy of how awesome this match was. Five Land Houses. And I'm sorry I went on, Johnny. I, I know you guys have to talk, but when you have that good of a match... You deserve that great of a review. 100. Hey, Coastal? Do we agree? Do we disagree? Absolutely agree with us. Five Lighthouses. This was a blockbuster match. It was a Hollywood blockbuster in the ring from the time that we saw the package leading up to the entrances. 
the entrances themselves, that entrance by Damon, the drama in the match, Marty Elias refing the match. It meant so much to both guys. It was incredible to watch. It was everything that embodies professional wrestling. It had everything you wanted. It got you invested in you on a roller coaster of emotions for 20 minutes. And that's all you can ask for. In yes, five lighthouse. Amazing. Are you ready to begin your journey into the world of professional wrestling? Then look no further than the Al Snow Wrestling Academy, Rocky Mountain in Inglewood, Colorado. Train with our tenured coaching staff in all aspects of pro wrestling. Take advantage of our many seminars where you'll get a chance to learn from some of the greatest minds in wrestling, such as Impact Wrestling's Madison Rain, D'Lo Brown, and Josh Matthews. So what are you waiting for? Go to rmpwrestling.com forward slash train to start your career in pro wrestling today. Gaden with the 10 again. We talked about <laughs> with the 10 lighthouse. Hey, um, Meltzer. <laughs> I, Shut up. I completely concur with the guys. This is absolutely a five lighthouse match. Uh, we, this was one of the best stories that had been told in a long time in professional wrestling, in my opinion. And I'm not just talking about Rocky Mountain Pro. This is one of the best stories that you could have told because it's a story that literally wrote itself years before these gentlemen were even here. And this story has continued to write itself the longer that they've been here. Look, love them or hate them, I personally don't like them that much, but I respect them. But I'll tell you right now, Damon Ace can tell one hell of a story, and Damon Ace can wrestle one hell of a match. No matter what, it's zero to take away from him, 100%. And you know that both of these guys put everything out there because they've been waiting to do this for months now, nay, years now from going back to the years and years that they've known each other. Not even just the... Yaden with the 10 again, Jesus. Um, well, I, I, I'm, giving, I'm giving it five lighthouses twice. How about that? Is that okay, Yaden? Um, but no, these two guys tore the damn building down. Having Marty Elias out there referee in this match was the icing that was on the top of this cake. There was not a face in the wimmer that didn't go at one point or 10 points during this match. This match, the crowd was there. They had this, they absorbed this, consumed this, and everybody is going to remember this feud for a very, very long time. It shot Damon into the stratosphere. I'm Balaam into the stratosphere. And it shot Damon, at least as of right now, because it's been, what, three weeks? Out of Rocky Mountain Pro for a while. We didn't see really see Damon bleed or things like that, but I think the emotional toll of this is untold as of yet on Damon. Damon puts on the big front of being the big guy, the, you know, the, the serial, maniacal destroyer of careers. I get a funny feeling he's somewhere right now reconsidering what happened or Damon acing it and making it 10 times worse for when we do see him come back. But either way, these two guys told one of the best stories I've ever seen in professional wrestling, five lighthouses. I have a funny feeling we're not going to get a disagreement from Sunday. We better not. I remember when he looked at me after the match because I was ringing the bell, and he looked right at me and went like this. Went right like this, as did Coastal Crusader and as did Triple I. I don't think that we're going to disagree here. And we're not. It is easily a five lighthouse match. Uh, what I The only thing I'm going to say about this match is you go back and talk about this match at any point are we going to talk about really any moves that were done is, is, you don't is, have to there's no need to there's no there's no that's not what you remember about the match you remember no. the emotion that was pouring out of both competitors and the crowd during this match and then watching it back after being in the crowd watching it back and and hearing that same emotion out of the the announcers as well this is what professional wrestling is, is a match like this. Two guys that have a problem with each other, that go in the ring, tell a story, and, and, and fight their way out, and one guy at the end gets his arm raised. 
That's what this is about, and this is why I'm a professional wrestling fan. Matches like this, five light Amen. ounces all day long. Amen, brother. Amen. Right, and that's when I, I, I know I have my turn. Right, I have one, one, one more, actually, two more quick things. I uh, want any wrestling promotion. I, I, you know, obviously we talk about Sana Tiba, Sana Tiba. That was a hashtag. You know, we've been saying for a while. Well, sign Balaam, sign hashtag sign Balaam, hashtag sign Damon. I mean, you know what you're gonna get. Watch this match. You want you want your promotion to, you know, you know, be catapulted to the next stratosphere. There you go. You can't ask for anything more than that. From the be- best storytelling, you're right. You're right. Sunday. They didn't. Ha- they're no one's gonna talk about their moves. They're gonna talk about the, the storytelling and the raw emotion. That's what professional wrestling is about. The, the storytelling and the emotion and everything else is a secondary, in my opinion. You know. But any wrestling promotion looking for talent, look look no further than right there. Uh, the second thing I have to say is, fine, Coastal, I will not give it 10 lighthouses. I, and, and instead, I'll give it 5 lighthouses and a Dusty. <laughs> <laughs> the first one of the night. <laughs> I mean, really, really, the video package before the match speaks for itself. Oh my God! Oh, yeah. That yep. video package. Even if you didn't know what was going on or hadn't seen what had been going on over the last few months on social media, the posts that had been made between the two, and other random interactions, the Danger Dean stipulation of they can't touch each other, and then the night that they did beat the crap out of each other, and all that drama that built the volcano to that eruption point. Even if you had missed that. And you saw that production package before that, you would know that these are two of the most important guys with two the most important blood feud that is, right? Maybe not the most important feud, but one of the biggest blood feuds you've ever dealt with. My goodness. Mm-hmm. Massive kudos to the production team at RMP for putting that package together. That was one of the best <clears throat> packages I've ever seen. It was. And but I, I'll say this, Marky, um, not to digress from it. Damon couldn't have been hurting that bad from the match afterwards because the next because the the next night uh, when we saw him he you know he kind of he kind of hurt my chest a little bit when he chopped me <laughs> you know so I was on the receiving end of a Damon Ace chop not as hard as Marky but it still hurt. But he got chopped on this show as hard as I got chopped that last. That's true. All That's right, true. kudos. Why do you think I'm reffing now? Kudos to. Balaam, Damon, and the production team, especially because the yeah. production team really put this story into perspective for everybody that was at the arena tonight. Five lighthouses right there goes to Balaam and Damon for their fantastic performance at Milestone 12. And Daddy Damon Ace as well. And Daddy Damon Ace. He didn't even yeah, have to anybody, do anything. Well, Mr. Ace got in the ring and raised Balaam's hand. And looked out yep. at Damon with, and I'm a dad. Coastal, you're a dad. Sunday, you're a dad now. You have that disappointed look. Not because he lost the match, but I think the family ties, and I'm, I'm sure Balaam had come over and probably had coffee or had dinner at the Ace house uh, many times. I'm sure he's very good friends with Mr. Ace. And I think he kind of knew what was going on, that this was Damon's demon that he had to deal with. But uh, Mr. Ace got in the ring and raised Balaam's hand and kind of didn't give Damon a very favorable look. Maybe that has to be dealt with. All right. 